Hey guys, it's Zach. Today I'm going to run through um, a, a specific pocketing routine that you can do um, here in Bobcad, and that is the advanced pocket. You don't have to do the adaptive roughing. That's part of what I was wanting to hit on today, but I will show you quickly um, the difference between that being checked and not being checked. So for the advanced pocket, let me close this and show you how it is now. So this is the, the adaptive part is selected and you can see how it's going in and keeping the constant step over and it's working its way across which brings me to another point that I wanted to touch on with this the reason it is starting you can see it's just it's starting on that other end and just working all the way through to this side so let me show you I'm gonna hide this and show you the the lines that I selected they're right there so when you make that a, a dash line it sees that as an opened end and I mean technically both ends are open um, But for what I'm doing it's I just wanted this I wanted it to not plunge into the middle of the part and do like a traditional pocket This is kind of the the new way of doing things and it's it's better on the machine It's usually faster better on the tools. Um, you're able to do a single depth of cut using the full length of the tool or at least as much as you can for that cut So let's go back in here and now let's uncheck this and regenerate that. So you can see it still saw this as an opened end. You can see it didn't plunge in the middle. It didn't start over here anywhere. It did a work this side over. But you see this first pass was tiny and this next pass, I mean, it went all the way to the end of the part. So, I mean, on, on this first cut right here, you'd be taking the full width of the cutter and, and probably really any material outside of something maybe like wood or plastic you're gonna you're gonna break the tool or be going really slow and it's it's just totally not efficient so again check that I mean this I programmed this for stainless so it's a small step over at a fair feed rate and it's it's a lot better on the tool life and really it's just a cleaner program I, I do a lot of things like this now I mean it it doesn't fit everywhere um, but that could probably help a lot of people out. And again, that, that dotted line right there is seen as an opened end. So it's gonna start out here and just feed across. And it's kind of a preferred method for me. I'm gonna bounce over here and show you a couple of tool paths on this lower. So these were obviously just pockets, not open end, but you can see I did, I did the same type of toolpath and what I mean by that is the uh, advanced pocket and the ad adaptive roughing and this adaptive roughing part as you can see here um, it, it may be called different things or it probably is called different things in other software I think um, Mastercam calls it like dynamic motion or something along those lines and some um, softwares call it trachoidal and it's, it's the same idea. So say here, it's, it's gonna ramp in, it's gonna do a nice circular pocket until it essentially runs out of room, and then it's gonna work across and hit through here, and then come back and finish this area, this area, and same over here. You can see it's covering a, a pretty good amount of space, just doing circular motions, then it's gonna finish this area. So it basically keeps in a constant step over to the amount that you tell it to instead of so if you were doing this pocket just in a traditional pocket it's, it's gonna ramp in and just follow the shape of it and after the first pass it, you know it's not as, as terrible it's still not as efficient as this but you're not gonna get that nice motion and not likely the depth of cut that you can get out of out of this kind of motion so those are two pretty helpful things once I learned the uh, the dotted line thing that helped me a lot and then once I got a little more comfortable with the the advanced pocket stuff um, like what I'm just showing you it can it can make a lot of situations better and again it doesn't belong everywhere uh, but it is helpful a lot of times so let me know if you have any more questions about this or if I can help you with anything else thank you